Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Program Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 58. We're going to be looking at 3D, and we're going to be looking at the projection matrix again, this time with perspective projection. So if you think about what perspective projection is, it's basically what you see in real life out of your own eyes. When you're looking at objects, and objects in the distance are smaller than objects that are close to you. And so we'll just like take a look at that today. Jumping into our program here, we have a lot of regular default things that you should be very familiar by now. So I'm going to scroll past the majority of it. I'm using the Z for down and up here um, rather than X, Y, X, and Y. And jumping into our draw here, we're going to be using our model view uh, matrix as well as our projection matrix, clearing our color, color buffer bit, and setting up our two matrices as normal. We're going to be using look at. We're going to look, set it to the I position, and then we're looking at the origin as always with the up vector uh, above us. We're not going to be doing any rotation or anything, but you can. And then we're going to be using this perspective uh, function given by the uh, uh, library we've been using. Uh, so what does it expect here? It has four parameters, or five parameters. The first is the output um, matrix. So right now it's just an identity matrix. And that's going to be for the to hold the projection matrix. The field of view, which is typically uh, in radians in most libraries, and it's field of view. So you have to think of it as like when you're looking out, how many degrees to the left and right can you actually see? So if you think here's a triangle, how basically what is that in radians? So we're going to go with 90 for this. Aspect ratio, this is typically the viewport width over height, so the canvas width over the canvas height. And then the near boundary that we're looking at and the far boundary that we're looking at. And so, you know, that'll set up our box just as we've done before. So we could, there could be things out of the perspective if they're too far away or if they're in fact too close. If we set the near to be uh, a greater number, it could end up making things being too close. Passing those in and setting those as uniform matrix 4FVs and doing our draw triangles, we end up with a very simple uh, code. Um, I've already moved things around, but just to kind of show we have three different triangles here. And if we move them uh, into being in line with each other, you could see as we get closer, it looks really, really odd. But as we far, go farther, farther away um, with our, our uh, eye position, you can see that they are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's basically what the perspective uh, matrix does. So uh, pretty simple stuff. Um, if you uh, that's it for this episode, I guess. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like this video, share it on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.